Uh, hi, everybody. Thanks for coming. Welcome to Common D&D. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hi everybody! Uh, welcome back to Common D and D Expedition to the North. Uh, our, our team is finally in the North. Who knew? Uh, I am Hayden. I'm DM Simon. Who are you? I am Simon Timoney. I'm playing Sir Wiggles, a hide shifter, pug, ladin, paladin of the Crown Oath. This week, I'm sponsored by Frodo Lay's potato chips. Yes, your favorite Frodo from Lord of the Rings. Potato crisps and a Sam so condescendingly says to someone with a speech impediment, it's pronounced potato. Uh, Casey, who are you? Potato. Uh, I'm Casey. I am playing Lee, a turtle blade singer of the fourth level. He's a pirate medic, a hammer singer, and a wizard in exile in the north. Cool. Uh, Kevin, who are you? Hi, I'm Kevin, and I will be playing Ubad, son of Rabab. He is a uh, exiled royalty from the elephant lands of Celestia, and he is a, a Loxodon, an elephant, fo- elephant folk uh, warlock noble genie. Cool. Uh, anybody want to give a quick recap of what went down last time? Um, yeah, sure. We, um, we got on a ship, and we sailed up to the north. About time, am I right? And we climbed up, uh, you know, pretty uneventfully climbed up uh, an ice cliff to get was, away from these ice not, goblins. It was uneventful for you because you went first, I think. Oh, okay. That's probably true. Uh, there was a little, little bit of drama. Somebody almost fell, but then they... They, I don't believe they didn't fall. Um, and w- we avoided being attacked by uh, this oncoming horde of ice goblins. Uh, we ventured further, and uh, we were crossing a, a chasm when our leader, Pelia, uh, betrayed us and forced us to eat magical paper that would curse us with a spell. Uh, Ubad deceptively did not. Um, and we were being told that we, there was going to be no expedition. We would just be pretending to be on an expedition for a couple months and head home. I mean, really, we finished the expedition to the north. We're done. We made it to yeah. the north. Hey. We're quitting. Mission accomplished. Next campaign. Cool. Uh, and uh, so you all have... Uh, set up camp, Pelia in one tent, everybody else in the other tent. Uh, she currently has the ability to issue commands to any of you, which you are compelled to follow, except for Ubad is the only one who did not eat the, the seal of obedience, is what I've, I've decided it's called. Is that, uh, why, is that why your DM picture is a seal? Yes. We'll say, mm. we'll say that. <laughs> uh, and uh, she had uh, Ryan, I believe, she compelled Ryan to uh, pour out a magic powder around your tent, uh, which I believe you identified is infused with the alarm spell if anybody crosses it. Right. So we were forced to eat those little pieces of paper, and now we're going to be forced to eat each other. Mm-hmm. In classic, you know, stranded in snow story. Okay, cool. Uh, you all have done a long rest, unless there's an objection to that. No, good. I think uh, we probably stayed up late discussing what to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I, be- I believe during that discussion, you had like Ryan look out the door or something. 
We got uh, a lot of a lot of familiars around. I'm sure someone was keeping an eye out. Hayden, question. I have 300 pounds of dried dog food. Now, I don't know what I can carry. I never really cared for that rule, paid attention to it, whatever. But is that on the ship? Is that in my pocket? Can I share it with my how much? How much did you take? However decide, much my carry. now. Whatever I can carry. We'll look at the rules and see how much you can I carry. the rules. It sucks. All right, fine. I'll figure it out. But I have some dried dog food. You have, to your compare, carrying capacity, of dry dog food. Yes. And then I want to check. I think I'm pretty sure I gave Pompadour a healing potion to like hold on to for emergency cases. Uh, I'm not keeping track of your inventory, so we'll say yes. Okay. That's included, and in, I haven't used any of the healing potions that I've received. Cool. Um. We're saving for the final battle, right? We never use anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. But like, you never when you get to the final battle, it's it's probably just phase one, so you want to save it for phase two. Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, yeah, we have to save all our phoenix feathers till the end. Mm -hmm. um, Every game I play, final battle, I just out of spite, I just like I'm gonna eat all the cheese, I'm gonna drink all these potions I don't need. So tune in for that episode. The thing, okay, here's the thing about me and Final Fantasy games. I didn't until, like, two years ago realize that Phoenix Down meant, like, feathers from a phoenix. I thought it was just, like, a weird term, like, Phoenix the direction down. And I was like, okay, I accept this. Yeah, Phoenix Down, there's also a dragon left. You know, <laughs> they're magic things. Uh, cool. It's just uh, a depressed phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, if you go into that room, you can get a phoenix down. <laughs> I think that's a category he's, on Twitch. He's very shy and won't like it if you talk to him. Um, yeah, nothing heals better than a sad phoenix. Isn't that, yeah, it's Harry Potter. It's the tears of the phoenix. I don't yeah. want to come back. Anyway, let's play this video game. Uh, you all awake uh, to see Ryan looking... Thoughtfully out the door. Uh, and as he sees, hears you guys awake, he says, Fellas, I have come to a decision. We are in quite the pickle here, and I have decided that I will be the hero and slay that witch Pelia as soon as she uh, gets the uh, turns her back to me. Not very heroic, but uh, an unheroic turn takes another unheroic turn. I'm all for that. I think that you are the most capable of all of us put together. I, I, I value your judgment highly, Sir Wiggles, and uh, that means a lot coming from you. Mm, Ryan, first, I think we should perhaps stuff all of our ears with wax because she has this power over us. I do not understand. Yes, all of us. Well, when she says something, you have to do it. Surely you've noticed that by now. Yes. So if we stuff our ears with this turtle wax or perhaps a candle of some sort, then you will not be able to hear her telling you to not kill her. You, my friend, are looking at uh, the the halfling with the greatest he hearing in all of the land. No, no pedestrian wax will keep me from hearing uh, someone addressing me. Was he a halfling before? What is he? Yeah, I think he's, he's a, a halfling. He's a halfling. This, I don't know. Did I borrow him? No. Can't you see how lucky he is? I have it written he down. A he's a gnome. He's a gnome. <laughs> I'm racist. No. Oh, well, changed. does he get advantage on the, the saving throw against magic then? That's useful. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Rules. You know, Ryan, you, you do sort of have an edge over the rest of us. Yes, you can fit in very small spaces. Quite the talent. Uh, cool. And so... Uh, Pelia comes out. Wait, can we stuff our ears with wax first? 
Uh, yeah, sure. How do you do that with a dog with, like, dog ears? Well, you got to give him some peanut butter to lick. Do you melt it and then drip it in the ear? You kind of like melt you it, like kind of get it in your yeah. hands. You warm mm-hmm. it up and like get it pliable. Old, old musician's trick. What? Musicians do a lot of things to put shit in their ears. That's one of them. <laughs> You're like a pitcher getting ready out there, uh, you know, throw your balls, but they they don't have as much action as they used to. So you go just a little bit of wax. Yeah. Put it uh, as long as you're not dripping hot wax in my ears. I don't know. Has anyone tried that with a dog before? Like in real life? Not me. I hope not. Me yeah, too. That's not but okay. I was just wondering. You know, like uh, like those experiments on human beings that are terrible but lead to scientific breakthroughs. I was just wondering if anyone tried that. I'll Google it. It's fine. Cool. Um, so you guys are all putting wax in your ears. Why don't you give me medicine checks to see how thorough oh. it is? I guess I can't assist in that. Never mind. Thirteen. Mr. Wiggles will have a thirteen as well. Hmm. Should I roll for Ryan? Uh, are, is Ubad doing it? Ubad is just kind of miming it. He doesn't. Okay. I'll roll for I kind of figure it'd be good if one of them could hear Pelia. And Sniffles? You have ears, right, Sniffles? Well, when I hear your command, sire. Are you doing it again? Oh, Sniffles listens to Shelly as well. Just not, not me. Okay, I understand. I was addressing Sir Wiggles. Look when you type this in. I just typed, has anyone, and then there's died in space gotten COVID twice, had sex in space. These are great. You know these are personalized to what you've been searching for. Has anyone had sex in space twice? <laughs> I just ruined the video. Uh, <laughs> Did you move all the people around? Okay, no, we're good. Anyone uh, melted wax in... Cool. Uh, so 13, 13. And Ryan also got 13. Wouldn't you know? <laughs> okay, I think so it, I think we're ready to go. Should we like take, wow. take our headphones off so we can't actually hear what you're saying now? That'd be great. Look, it's called ear candling. So some are um, wiggles roll for um, sniffle. Yes. Oh, uh, let me get my sniffles dice. It's the creepy one that feels very clammy. If you roll a 13, then we all win. Do you... What does a nat 1 look like? <laughs> I, I rolled uh, a natural 1. You can't find sniffles ears. <laughs> uh, are you sure you have them? You don't hear through your tongue or something I'm like that? I'm quite sure. I sweat through my tongue. But I, oh, um, well, maybe if I just, I'll just uh, put some wax on his head. I'll just put some wax around his face and neck. I don't know. Maybe he has gills. Are those for, he- are, are gills for hearing? I've seen fish. I don't know if they use them. I am not way. a doctor. Right. Right. Well, yeah. Um, and I start going like this. I start going. I start moving my mouth, but no sound comes out. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure he can still hear other sounds in the room, so I don't know how convincing that is. Uh, so, <laughs> you all hear muffled Pelia come out of her tent. You see, hear her say, Well, um, all right, boys, time to come out. I, I look at Ubad to see what she said I follow his lead um, I motion towards the door of the tent and I will cast armor of Agathis on myself and start walking out armor of Agathis yes right. I'll start taking the tent down by keeping uh, an eye on her and Ryan Uh, 
has a vocal component, but Armor of Agathis does. So, th theoretically, she would be able to hear that you cast it. Is that okay? That's fine. Okay. Uh, she looks at you immediately. Now, Ubad, wh what are you casting spells for so early in the morning? It's for my protection against the cold. Hmm. Figures. Uh, now, why don't you fellas, you, you, uh, y'all clean up the tent. Uh, Ubad, you come with me. Uh, and she, you're, you wake up and it's in the morning, the sun is high up in the sky uh uh as we've established the sun no longer sets weird the funny that uh and you are on the edge of this glacier and you look out over this large bay uh and there's like an ice sheet that connects the ed glacier there's a drop on the edge of the glacier where you are and there's an ice sheet that goes out for a while uh and then there's just like chunks of ice floating all the way across this bay and you can kind of, in the distance, see what looks like a, a plume of smoke uh, across the bay. But you can't really make out where it's coming from. Does it look like goblin smoke? Um, Ubad is going to look at Shelly in motion with his trunk. As if to say, go now. Can you have this code word? I can't hear anything right now. Well, actually, when she's talking, can I hear? I'm just curious. You, you can hear her muffled. Okay. But I can't really make out the words, like if she were giving me a command. You can hear, like, every other word. Okay. You can see intent. You can, you can hear about 13 out of 20 of the words. I know what this means. When someone points their finger at you and waves it down, Sir Wiggles knows sit. He's a good okay, boy. well... Seeing the trunk, I will kind of go around the tent and be sort of humming to myself, and I will try to cast Maximilian's Earthen Grasp oh. on Pelia. That's what's up. <laughs> Party time. Maximilian, how does this work? Uh, it is a strength saving throw. A medium hand made out of compacted soil rises from the ground next to her, and she must make a strength saving throw. What's the DC? 14. Uh, she hit exactly 14. Okay, then she takes half damage. That's eight, so four bludgeoning damage. And, uh, uh, oh, sorry. Cool, what does this look like? Well, the hand rises out of the ice and grabs at her, but I'm guessing she dodges nimbly out of the way and just gets clipped on the shoulder yes she she jumps out of the way uh the the hand the hand comes grass out of thing and like just kind of wings her and does four damage you said that's right four damage and i guess with my bonus action i will start a blade song what are you doing everybody roll initiative this wasn't the plan <laughs> listen you don't argue with the trunk Oh. 15. Uh, Sir Wiggles That's is a 10. 17 for Ubod. I think, yeah. yeah. Lee, not Shelly. Wiggles? 10. <laughs> oh, I always forget to do that. This combat music. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, technically, any music can be combat music. If you play it fast enough. Mm hmm. If you just play it. And then fight somebody? Yeah. Chopin's Opus 9, number two. Perfect song to go on a killing spree. What music do you want at your D&D campaign? Yeah, techno. 
Uh, she I like, like she does like a cool backflip out of the way, and now it's Ubad's turn, and she she looks furious. Just just trying to take the the tent down. Oh yeah, <laughs> sorry, my unseen uh, servant came out a little chunky today. Yeah, <laughs> I am gonna cast hex on Pelia, mm -hmm. and we'll stick with it and just say she has disadvantage on strength checks. Cool. And I am going to shoot an Eldritch Blast. I'm going to say you guys are like on the edge of the glacier too. Ooh, excellent. And that is... Um, what? Just to make it more cinematic. What? For sure. That's a 26 to hit. Camera's panning. Uh... She, uh, Pelia stands there and, uh, looks, like, gets ready, looks, uh, stares daggers at, uh, Lee, uh, when suddenly, from her blind side, she's hit by an Eldritch Bass. What does it look like? Um, it's just a blast of sort of, uh, primordial cold coming out of Ubad's trunk, just sprayed out like a mm -hmm. trumpet, maybe less pleasant sounding, and that is, um... Do you need the damage in different types? Uh, yeah, just give it to me in different types. Uh, okay. Just math is hard sometimes. That is uh, 15 force, Jesus. 4 cold, and 2 necrotic. Was that a max damage roll on the force? Uh, force, that is max damage. Nice. Yes. Use the force, god yes. damn. Yeah. Uh, uh, Ryan is... Uh, it is now Ryan's turn. Uh, he uh, is, let's see, taking his glory. He he. Okay, he hears. Uh, he hears what's going on, and he pokes his head out of the tent and says, <laughs> uh, "The time for glory is at hand, apparently." And he uh, take he draws his rapier and charges at Pelia. And uh, goes and like th runs up and thrusts at her, and she deftly dodges to the side and uh, dabs, I guess. Uh, uh, it is now Pelia's turn. Pelia says, Oh, I didn't know we we're gonna have to do this all so soon. Uh, ooh, bad. F uh, f fire whatever spells you have. At uh, at Lee, Ryan. Uh, why don't you go apprehend Wiggles? What did I do? Oh, I can't hear this. Oh. Uh. Uh, Ryan seems to stiffly stand up straight, as if he Can you resist would, with advantage. As it. Uh, no. Because he's a gnome. He resisted with not not disadvantage. Okay. Also, I'm gonna say uh, your your partial waxing of your ears is gonna make it make you roll with not disadvantage. Sweet. What? <laughs> uh, cool. It is Lee's turn. All right. The hand made out of earth is still right next to her and seeing her dabbing and distracted i will use my action to have it try to grab her again so that is another strength saving throw against a dc 14. at disadvantage oh my god that one <laughs> okay that's seven damage and she is restrained wow to break out she can use her action to make a strength check against my spell save dc Cool. And her strength checks are at disadvantage. Did she oh. take damage? Uh, yes, uh, seven bludgeoning. Okay. Uh, I rolled. I rolled uh, disadvantage for her. But, uh, she rolled an eight and a one. It was very bad. Oh, for the strength save. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wiggles, what's going on? Oh my God! How far away from her am I? Uh, where were you when all this went down? Uh, I was, like, outside the tent, but we had sort of planned to, like, you know, uh, I'm at least 30 feet away from her. 
I'm assuming. Do you have like your armor on or anything, or do you oh, just yeah. get up? Okay. Cool. I got my armor on. I, yeah, I woke up my armor. armor on. Today. Woke up early, pretending I was asleep. Holy so shit. you you'd be like like fifty feet away from her, I guess. Fifty feet. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I don't know what Ryan's save was, so I'm going to try to avoid him, but I'm going to run towards Pelia. You, you can you can intuitively see that Ryan looks like when she was given an oh. order, it was like struck by right. something. Maybe well, we he's practiced, pretending. We practice acting pretending. robotic all night, just to, so I don't know. Okay, I'm going to avoid him anyways, and then Sir Wiggles is going to run 30 feet, and he is going to bonus action cast Shield of Faith and an aura of delicious kibbles, ethereal kibbles surrounds his his chest and body. Uh, And then I will use my action to dash, and I will try to run around behind uh, Pelia and the grasping hand. Mm -hmm. And you know when a dog like runs really fast, he kind of gets that like, that that stretch face and his tongue wags in the wind. Mm I imagine icicles form at the end of it. Uh, and, and that'll be it. Cool. How close? Well, let's see. So that was, you said 50. I dashed. So I should be right behind her. Cool. Uh, good. Ubed, top of the round. What's going on? Um, Ubed is... Uh, if they're restrained, do we get any... Oh, you get advantage, my friend. I get advantage. Awesome. That's what I wanted to hear. So yeah, I will shoot another Eldritch Blast. I'll go. I'll yell, take this, Lee, and fire, of course, at uh, Pelia. And that is a 16 to hit. Uh, 16 uh, with advantage? Yeah. Uh, That misses. Yeah, that misses. I'm I'm wondering if the the thing that I'm wondering is like agility based armor shouldn't work when you're restrained, but I guess under these worlds it does. Yeah, you know, you can still kind of squiggle around, I guess. You know, she she is like apprehended by this big hand, then she goes in. Yeah, or like I would have hit her in like her legs, but she lifts them up or something. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, Ryan, uh, it is Ryan's turn. Thanks, Big Moon Answer. And uh, Ryan turns around and uh, tackles uh, Wiggles and attempts to uh, uh, apprehend you. Are you stupid uh, dick? Strength, strength contest. Ooh. What'd you roll? Suppose it doesn't really make sense if I pick it up and show you. Yeah, I know, I, could have I, know what, I know it's what a seven looks though. like. It's a seven? Yeah. Eight. Oh, I can clearly see that. <laughs> yes. Eight. <laughs> no, not today. I should have a dice cam. Uh, not today, Ryan. I think my uh, my aversion towards the smaller folk just gives me extra mm-hmm. awareness for I that. Th- I think what happens is like Ryan jumps and grabs onto your arm and you just like lift him up. <laughs> Hi. Nice to see you. I <laughs> I am I cannot control myself. I am sorry. I will lick his face. Very nice to see you. Uh, we are friends. It is uh Pelia's turn. Uh she kind of uh you can see her like kind of scroll, uh, uh, squirm one of her arms into like a pouch on her belt, and take out a a, a small uh, like a weird a weird looking stick, mm-hmm. and she breaks it in one hand, and she uh, disappears, and reappears uh, thirty feet away from you guys. That's a good stick. Very good. You know that's what. D- Dogs are trying to do the whole time when we fetch sticks is misty step. 
Mm. Uh-oh. Ubed, it, se- it seems that you've done something to uh, thwart uh, the, the, si- the si- what was it called? The seal of uh, the, the thing that's fed you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I don't, I don't make these things. Uh, well, I have to t- also tell people it doesn't work as well as we thought it would. Uh, but uh, Wiggles, uh, why don't you why don't you uh, go uh, cut off uh, cut off Ubat's head for me, would you? Okay. Uh, even if I save, I'm still doing it. So this it. isn't a suggestion spell. It's a, it's, it's like command. Roughly a longer. suggestion. Yeah. The suggestion it has to be a rational course of action. And it can't be to kill people, but it's, whatever it's it is. It's some DM homebrew shit. Okay. <laughs> well, homebrew I'm, this. I'm checking, because you, you said one thing last week. 22. Uh, and I'm retconning it for it to be fun and interesting. Yeah, that's fine. 22. 22. Uh, well, yeah, you, you resist the shit out of it. Uh, I'm going to stiffen up and do a little robot move. Yes, I understand. Uh, Lee, what's going on? Uh, so how far is she from the original Earth Thirty feet. Grasp. I think I have to use an action to move and then a separate action to grab, though. Okay, and how far is she from me? Like pretty far now, because you were the tent. I was in the tent, yeah. Uh, so. Th- th- how, what's what's the range on the fist of Earth? Uh, Thirty feet. So let's say sixty feet. <laughs> okay. Uh, while I'm blade singing, my speed is forty. That's not going to be enough. Um, all right, but I do want to get over there. So I guess I will misty step thirty feet towards her. Bonus action, and then move another thirty feet to get to her, and then I can still I'll booming blade her. Okay. I don't think you can do that. It's a cantrip. Because uh, a bonus action spell and an action cantrip. Yeah, if you cast a bonus action spell, the only spell you can cast with your action is a cantrip. That's okay. I was I thought the attack was a bonus action for Booming Blade, but I think you're fine. Oh yeah, no. Okay. It's not one of those guys. Okay. Does a nineteen hit? Uh, 19 hits. Okay. That's going to be 13 slashing damage. And of course, she is wreathed in a sheaf of booming energy. She looks uh, bad off. Oh, and since I hit her with a hammer and I have the crusher feet, I move her five feet with the blow towards my friends. Okay. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. So that is a big hit. <laughs> so I'm, right. I'm like, I'm like imagining what this looks like. It's like you kind of roll, run around and spin the hammer around and then throw her back. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I have enough move to get on the other side of her, I guess, and hit her straight away from me. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Uh... So she's ten. So she's she's like ten feet from me now, and she has booming blade. Cool. What's up, uh, Wiggles? I say, yes, Mistress Pelota, I will do as you wish. And I run towards her, (laughs) and all the while I'm saying, in order to fulfill your desires, I will require that stick. And as I run up, I'm going to grapple her. Describe exactly what you're doing. Uh, I, I make it, I pretend like I'm stiff and under her spell. And my interpretation is that I need the, her her cool stick because I'm a dog uh, to to uh, fulfill her wish to kill Ubad. Mm-hmm. And I run up and I grapple her, as in what I it? put my limbs around her, and I'll probably cool. slobber a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Is this a strength contest? She can use acrobatics athletics. or okay. athletics. She's going to use acrobatics. What'd you get? I rolled a 13 plus 4, 17. 18. 
Oh. oh, we're just one upping each other by literally one upping each other. Um, I she miss. goes like she wiggles out of it. I've never seen moves like this before. Dogs can't do that. And um, okay, uh, that's a action. Oh, I'm such a dum dum. Uh, my bonus action. Uh, the fur flies up around my neck. I'm getting a little puffy. And uh, I go into my shifting mode, so I get temporary hit points. My AC goes up by another one. So. Um, Ubed. Ubed's gonna stick with the uh, Eldritch Blast, and that'll okay, miss. Okay. That is a uh, fourteen. Give me, give me some flavor on this. Uh... Ubad uh, he go aims with his trunk, but it's uh, it's not clear. It's not coming through. Cool. Uh, Ryan, uh, who is still uh, hanging onto your arm, uh, I forgot about him. Uh, <laughs> attempts to grapple you again. Stop that! Wait, we're supposed to be acting, Ryan. Come on, we went over this <laughs> last night. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> what did you get? Eleven. This doesn't beat uh, Ryan's critical grapple. <laughs> Ryan, you're pretending very well. You're a little too serious, but hey, stop that! Oh my god. Ryan, Ryan climbs up your arm and like wraps himself around your head. <laughs> Am I just like this? Like, oh, okay. Uh, so, so I'm just gonna say you're blinded instead of grappled. You're very much in character, little buddy. <laughs> Doing a great job there. Yeah, okay. Up now. I'm saying, like, yeah, you're holding, he's holding yeah. your arm around your head. Okay. Okay. Ow. Uh. <laughs> ah, not bad. I know this is, I know this is evil what I'm doing, and I'm trying not to do it, but uh, <laughs> I, I did it really well. You can't say I didn't. I didn't hear a word you just said, but okay. Uh,. You look over at, uh, briefly out of the corner of your eye, you cl uh, catch a glimpse of Sniffle still sitting in the tent, uh, just kind of watching and just like, looks looks unsure of what to do. God damn it, Sniffles. Uh, I, believe the I believe the rules say that your squires can't actually fight, right? Yeah, yeah. I um, it is Pelia's turn. Uh, she uh, looks at all of you and says, Well, this didn't go quite as well as I'd hoped. But I assure you uh, that I will still prevent you from doing uh, any of the Baroness's uh, wishes up here in the north. Uh, you watch your backs now, y'all. What? Uh, what? What did you say? Yeah, I can't uh, hear or see. What? I couldn't even read her lips. No, like you I you heard, uh, uh, you heard, uh, went well, uh, Baroness, watch. That's all you heard. Uh, uh -huh. and she takes out, uh, this little clay coin with an eye eye uh, icon on out of her pocket and holds it up and crushes in her hand and she vanishes. Where and then a, and a second later you hear your booming blade goes off and roll damage. Oh, it still hits her? Mm -hmm. Oh, because she's just there? Oh, that is a the maximum eight. <laughs> is, that, is that enough? Ryan, tell me what's happening. I'll tell you later. Uh, and she hears, God damn it. <laughs> and then you hear some like ice crunchies and then it's not, you can't really hear much because you have wax in your ears. Yeah. And you're out of initiative. Uh, I mean, are there like footprints in the snow? There's not really, it's like really compact, icy, hard snow that's been there forever. Uh, 
It's more ice than snow. Okay, but so we, we can't make a perception check or look for her or anything like you that. You could make me a survival check. Okay, so we, if she thinks I'm, in, I'm just burning all my spell slots first thing in the morning. I will use my last second level spell slot to cast detect thoughts. How does this work if you can't don't, don't know where the person is? Okay, so it says uh, you can focus your mind on any one creature, or um, where is it? You can also use the spell to detect the presence of thinking creatures you can't see when you cast a spell or as your action during the duration. You can search for thoughts within thirty feet of you. The spell can penetrate barriers, but two feet of rock, two inches of any metal other than lead, or a thin sheet of lead blocks you. You can't detect a creature with an intelligence of three or lower, or one that doesn't speak any language. Okay. Once you detect the presence of a creature this way, you can read its thoughts for the rest of the duration as described above, even if you can't see it, but must still be within range. Okay, I'm going to say you can detect you can detect her thoughts. It doesn't let you sit, see exactly where she is, though. Uh, it's... Oh. Her thoughts. I hope they don't find me behind this one tree. He's. She's just thinking. God damn it. <laughs> um. Okay. Can I? I guess I'll probe deeper then, which sure. requires a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. DC she's thinking. 14. I'll. I'll give you. I'll give you some more th service thoughts. Uh. She's thinking. Uh. That I need to look up the <laughs> character names on my character name sheet. Uh, Make him up like you always do. Uh, God damn, if friend, you're supposed to work, um, it's um, this thing will work. What is the... Oh, she did not save whatever she saved. <laughs> um, okay, if she does not save, then uh, you gain insight into its reasoning, if any, its emotional state, and something that looms large in its mind, such as something it worries over, loves, or hates. Cool. Uh, her reasoning uh, is that she, she, you can, you can tell she thinks she is doing a dirty job for good reasons. Uh, she, uh, she basically is very af afraid of whatever Varian was doing up here, and is terrified of it getting out and uh her yeah that's her biggest story and she is uh, she feels seems very frustrated and determined to uh stop you from launching any rescue effort you might do okay i'll say she she's still here i can i can hear her thoughts pelia we don't have to be on and the her other thoughts side. are gone Okay, I run around to try and get them back in range with my speed of 40. I'm trying to track where I'm she is. Do a survival check just to see if I. Cool. That's a natural 20. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see her, you can see her footsteps. Um, uh, you, can, you can you can you recognize like the the crunched ice in a pattern that where she's going. So then I'm pretty sure I can attack with uh, disadvantage. Fuck, sure. <laughs> uh, it's a 14. Miss. Uh, Ryan, can you explain to me what's going on? Uh, the, uh, <laughs> I have been, I am, I have to apprehend you. I, I don't know when I can stop, but I Are can't. You're doing a great job. Like, really, you should be proud of this. I'm going to roll, and I... Okay, I'm free! <laughs> okay, good, because I was about to punch you. You might have I, died. You would have tried to punch me. Ugh. Ryan, um, Ryan, un under handles you and, like, muscles, muscles your fur down. Thank you. And then thank jumps you. off. Very nice. Of and you. does, like, a little flip and uh, falls on his face. Oh. That was funny. I keep walking. And Sir Wiggles, you're like extra fierce right now with claws and stuff. Yeah, uh, not the claw thing, but I'm just like really puffy. Like I get like a plus one AC and temporary hit points puffy. A little fatter around the everywhere. You can see it around the eyes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, what did I miss? Well, she's gone, I guess. What? 
Let's take I, our what ear ear pugs out. Oh, Ubed, you can uh, you can basically see that she was running back to where you came from, back to like. The boat? It seems like she was going back towards like the fishers. Oh no! That you went over. Skipping board. Um, let's let's start by looking in her belongings. Maybe there's some clues as to what she was doing. Ooh, maybe she Let's see if there's anything in her tent. Uh, her, she was like pretty packed up. Uh, mm. Wise move. <laughs> okay. Yeah, for someone um, who detests magical artifacts, she seemed to have quite a few. <laughs> I noticed that too. Oh, what just happened? Did it work? Is she, she day? Is she dead? Um, okay. It seems like we need to find a way to remove the effect of that um, that seal on the few of you. Yes. Cut me open. I will do some research on it tonight, but maybe for now we should keep moving. You hear... Uh... I will say the one of you that I always lean on for this, who has the highest perception, uh, Wiggles, you catch something on the wind that sounds like a familiar sound you might have heard yesterday of some like little grunts and like. Rah, 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 rah. It sounds like it's coming from over the cliff. Uh, hey guys, either I'm dying or there's goblins coming from mm. over the cliff from that way. Or I'm dying. But I haven't. I'll tell you about that later. All right, let's let's get the tents packed up. Uh, you go take a look. Uh, Sir Wiggles will roll a stealth check, and Sir Wiggles is going to stealth at a rate of twelve, and just to go see what's what's coming. So you're you're trying to peek over the edge. Yes. Uh. So you peek over the edge, and you see. Uh, a couple goblins, like like three of them, uh, are like kind of like looking quizzically up on the at the ridge as if they had heard something. Uh, and then they they spot you. And oh, okay. I go back. Um, I said they they barked at me. I've never had that happen before. Where where little folks have barked at me. This is this is new. I think. Oh, I think they're catching on. Oh now, my God. now you can all hear yelling. Uh, oh, the goblin go yelling. Goblins are coming. Yeah, the goblins are coming. Uh, how long has it been? Since what? Since the end of battle? Like two minutes. Damn it. All right. I'm no longer puffy or in a kibbled aura. Uh, goblins are coming. You know, maybe we should just let them have this tent. I have six more. How many tents do I have? You're like you're like fifty feet up a cliff, by the way. I have I have six tents back in the boat. Okay, so we we climbed a cliff up, and then we went across a plain, and there were fissures. Like a glacier. And now we got to the other side of the glacier, basically. Yeah. And do we we don't have a map or anything or know where we're going really? Is that accurate? Nope. <laughs> you were following Pelia. Well, either we follow Pelia still back towards the boats, or we set out on our own. What do you guys think? I think we should follow her back, but how are we going to get across that crevice? I mean, that, was a, that wasn't a rhetorical question. Well, we, question. we have rope. and right. I, will, I will also point out the landmark that I mentioned earlier of the smoke on the other side of the bay. All right. Yes, I think maybe we should head there. So um, go you know, forward. Bort and his father can protect the ship. I'm sure you have a way of communicating with your squires there. Uh, no. B Bort and Skip are. St you left them on the like the big boat. Oh, there's another boat. The Phelan Dublith. Like oh, the, the ship that you sailed sailed here on. Oh, I assume yeah, they favorite. like rowed us ashore and then rowed back. But we have our own little boat. No, no. They were, yeah, they they were on they were on the boat that you came here. Okay. On. So and the boat's not like not waiting there for you. Phelan Dublin is a great bar in the Richmond. Go check it out. 
What? That sounds like an Irish bar. Yeah. I looked up Irish names to rename these boats. Okay. All right, let's uh, continue how many, how, forward. How many goblins did I see? And I, I let them know. Three. I can't really count, but I think it was three. It was, it was that many. That many. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't know, like that they're aware of us, but I don't think they're a direct threat yet. Should we burn them again? Um, Teach them a lesson? We could, let them know? We could burn them, yes. Let them know? Maybe we should just burn one. Well, I think if, they, if they're if they a threat to us, we should definitely burn them. Okay. But I, I think for now we can... Maybe we head towards that smoke and see what what's burning that. I mean, Ubet, he barked at me. If that isn't a bigger threat, I don't know what is. Like, have you ever been barked at? It's... Several times. Not pleasant. Yeah. Okay, well... Are we going towards the smoke? Cool. So to to lay out the thing, the the smoke you the the direct route to the smoke is to go down the cliff and like skip across the, the ice floating in the, in the bay. And is does it look if we stay up here like there might be a way around up up high? Uh, like pretty far around, yeah. Looks like like a. It looks like presumably like a two hour journey to go direct and if you went all the way around maybe like a day well if the goblins are down there maybe we take the day and go around up here what do you guys think I mean, we'll let's, take, no, let's take the scenic route there's no days cause the sun so so it'll take forever we'll be here eternity <laughs> Scenic route. I like it. Mm. All right. That's shall we? Are you packing up the tents or anything? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Packing up all the gear. Is this like camping where it takes two hours? Like somehow you set up the tent in ten minutes and then it's two hours to pack up because you can't get it back in the bag. Well, it's like somehow bigger than it was. Sniffles was working on it during the fight, I think. Good job. He was to kind of taking cover in the tent. Uh, uh, just like I expect. You, uh, roll someone, one person, roll me survival. <laughs> what's what's I, that? What's tent breaking down? I have a dex. Is it? Is it really? Of hand. Does it require a roll? <laughs> it's, it's just how fast it goes. Oh, I oh. got you. I have a plus two. Anybody else? Go for it. I will Go do it. it. Okay, so that's a seventeen. Okay, you do it. You 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 organize everybody. You get it done in like ten minutes. It's pretty quick. Very nimble for pause. Yeah. Uh, and oh, when you're okay. when you're done, you can you hear more yelling from over the cliff. Yeah. It's it sounds like it's getting louder. Yeah, it's definitely louder. And can I tell with a perception how many? Voices I hear. Ooh, that's a uh, dirty twenty. Really good. Uh, it, it feels like the the noise, the the amount of noise has like over doubled. Okay, so there was this many, and I scratch in the snow, and I say, and now I think there's this many. So they're having babies as we speak. It's quite terrifying. Ryan sniffles. Doesn't does anybody speak goblin? Snow goblin, ice goblin. Did you get your translation book? There was like a tourist book that had general phrases. No, okay. Yeah, that was in the museum in the turtle section. Uh, oh wait, I can uh, I can ritual cast comprehend languages. I guess that'll take me ten minutes though. Let's see, I broke down this tent in ten seconds, so another ten minutes. If you want to retcon in and. I would say if you want to get the tents done in ten minutes, everybody had to help. So I can't. I will say you wouldn't be able to recon and ritual cast it during that. See, we're breaking down the tents, and 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 Lee's just over there dancing and waving its arms around. Not very helpful. I'm, All gonna, right. I'm gonna remember that. Well, maybe we start walking, but I'll cast it while we walk. 
It's a thing. No. Is that a thing? It, I've done it plenty of times. I don't. I don't like that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that's. A let's thing. let's look over the edge and see what's going on. Can can I send my bird to look over the edge? Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, about seven or eight goblins now, and there's they're, they're yelling and they're like talking to each other and they're pointing up and they're like, blah, 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 blah. and they they there seem to be more coming out and there's like there's like a couple like cracks that seem to lead into the glacier that they're coming out of. Oh, so they're like below us in the glacier. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, should we try and scare them away or cause an avalanche on them? Is that how they have babies? It comes out of the wall? That's wild. Hmm. By the way, if you've ever seen Madonna Vogue, that's what I imagine someone walking and casting a spell looks like. Catchy. Uh, yeah, you just burn them. I mean, just burn one. Let, let them know, you know. Let them know. Yes, I don't have much ability to burn them. Mm -hmm. um, I think, really, we take advantage of our lead and keep moving. I get I hope there's not just ice goblins on the other side. Agreed, let's go. Maybe they will pick up Pelia's tracks. Cool. You going? We're going. We're going. Okay, you set across, off, uh, around uh, the thing. Uh, as, as you, after you walk for a couple minutes, you can hear some like loud chunks behind you, uh, and you see. Uh, well, uh, you, you, I'll just, I'll leave it at that. You're. Tum, tum. You can hear some loud chunks? Yeah. Like, choom, choom. Can I see some loud thunks? You can make a perception check. I, really do. Uh, I will send my bird back ooh. to see what was going on. 21. <laughs> okay. Uh, with with all that stuff, you can see that the, they, the goblins have brought out uh, grappling hooks and have... Uh, started have hooked them up the wall and are uh, it's starting to ascend the wall. So I tell everybody that I let them know that they have grappling hooks and they're coming up the wall. Should we just you know? So what what does this terrain look like? It's just ice. There's no cover. Yeah. Rocks. Not really. Big big open plain of of, of ice right here. And how far away are we from where these grappling hooks are? Um, like a, like a minute or two's walk, however fa long that is, several hundred feet. Is someone like touching their mic a lot? No, it's it's footsteps in the snow. A sound effect. Do you want me to? Oh my I goodness! Know it... it is. I totally yeah. did not realize that. Yeah. Okay. So. Turn it off. <laughs> you sure? Because it's adding. I like, hate a it a lot. Element of real is it's making me cold just thinking about it. Oh, Sir Wiggles scratching over his number two. Okay. Uh, should we dash over there and burn them? Well, we burn if we're going to fight them, I guess doing it while they're climbing up would be easier. Yeah, they're really asking for it. Uh, um, or should we dash in the other direction and just try to lose them? They have very short legs. Does, Sorry, it, right. does it seem like we could lose them? Like... How's the visibility? They're going to see us when they come up no they matter could, what? They could probably see you, but they they don't seem that fast. That was not a sound effect. That was a real soda can, I'm guessing. Yes. I will, um, say, I will say that, like, if you proceed at speed, it seems like you could keep ahead of them, but you'd need to, like, hustle. go at a good clip for a long time. U Ubad, can I know you... how to get us across yeah. the chasm. Um, but we don't know for sure that that would stop them. 
that takes us the way that Pelia is going and where we've already been. Maybe there will be uh, another chasm. Yes, I, I think the best the best thing to be would just be to move forward. Okay. Maybe if I leave some dried kibble right here, we'll get them off our backs. Or maybe they'll want it more. I don't know. I leave a little small handful of dried dog food. 200 pounds of dog food. I throw it. Yeah. You're going to give them the taste of dog food. You should burn it just to just to get the smell going. Ability checks. I can, I can leave a bonfire going if that would help. They might be scared of that, right? Yeah, and they might... It's warm, so they might you know get distracted by it. Okay, it'll only last one minute. All right, sound off in chat. Have you ever eaten dog food, and why was it yesterday? Did you eat dog food yesterday, Simon? Who doesn't? It was I have I have V dog food. It's V <laughs> vegan dog food. Yeah, Wednesdays are for vegan dog food. Everybody knows that. Mm-hmm. Taco Tuesday, vegan dog food Wednesday. <laughs> Rolls off the tongue. I think we have our vegan. sponsor next week. Uh, bu- 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 bu. I try. What's like the check oh, here's for? Here's happy with the, the dark secrets. It's true. Dex. I'm just gonna say Dex. Dex check. Incorrect. Uh, for just like proceeding uh, for a long time at a at a, it's either Constitution, yeah, it's Constitution. I say Con. Mm-hmm. March or labor for hours without rest. So, uh, in order for you to stay ahead ah. of the <laughs> goblins, uh, you're gonna all need to make. Uh, constitution checks. Not a save, but a check? Yes. I got a dirty 20. Oof. Oof. Yes. Hey, I got a clean 20. Mm. I got a 22. Too bad Sniffles and Ryan are slowing us down. Oh, they got a... They got a Ryan... <laughs> Should I roll for Sniffles? You roll for Sniffles, please. Okay. What? <laughs> Whatever 18 plus is, or minus, whatever. Uh, I, I was going to say Sniffles has a plus one constitution. All right. Uh, Ryan got a two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Ryan, get on my back. Uh, I would say, I'll, I'll play it out uh, of, so you guys are able to proceed and, like, kind of, March quickly, not like run, but like run march quickly uh, for like an hour as they and you you still hear the goblins behind you, but they have not like caught up and they're not gaining ground and you all feel great, except you see Ryan stumble and he he starts to breathe heavily. He's like, fellas, I think fighting Pelia took more out of me. Uh, then I, then I let on. If I could just, and he, he sticks his sword in the ground and just kind of, we could, you if we could make camp, I'll just, you know, just, I'll, I'll sit here, just, I'll stick my sword up and when the goblins come out, they'll just, I'll stab them. It, it'll be fine. Okay, bye. Mm, so, Sorry, good luck with that. So Wiggles, Let's that go. was Ryan, not Sniffles, who said that. Yeah. I am doing just fine, sire. Yeah, my squire is doing fine. Ryan didn't want the job, so I, I got to take that into account. Ryan, let Lee carry you. No, oh, I, 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 I don't want to be. Oh, oh, just okay. Just pick me up. Just pick me up. Ryan, have you ever gone shellboarding? Have I ever gone? No, I haven't. Well, you're about to learn. Hop on. Do turtles take their dead ancestors' shells and <laughs> oh yeah, it's awesome. That's 
kind of cool. <laughs> Ryan got a natural 20 to climb ahead, uh, climb on top of you. Slippery with the turtle wax. Uh, yeah, but he like, he kind of like, he seems so tired, but he like, he just weirdly gets it. And he like, very easily like grabs all the little notches in your shell and gets up there. And it's, it's very impressive. You're quite heavy, Ryan, but I, I could do this for a while, and then maybe someone with a powerful build can take over after a bit. Gel wax? Is that where your ears are? Yes. Interesting. Good to know. Okay. Uh, you all proceed. Uh, uh, Lee, why don't you give me another constitution check, since you are now carrying a gnome. That is 11. Uh, cool. Uh, you guys make it a ways before uh, Lee, you can really feel the weight of uh, Ryan start to get to you and slow you down. And it seems like the goblins are now catching up. Maybe we should make a stand here. They, they've followed us for hours. They're not going to give up. Uh, if you want, I'll carry the baby. It's fine. Do we see any fish? I am not a baby. Fissures, large rocks. Are we still uh, are we still next to the edge of the cliff? Did you follow the edge of the cliff? Can I, you tell me? I assume that would be the fat I mean I don't know. I'm picturing it as like a kind of a yeah. cove. Yeah, if you're trying to if you're trying to stay up go the most direct route while staying on top of the cliff, it would be on the edge of the cliff. You're like so So it'd be easy if I could draw a picture. Uh so you, you like draw a picture? I it's weird. I am I'm ill picture it. Um never use uh, a brand? So it's like it's it's this kind of like half moon this like cove thing. And I'll say like you're like at you've gone ninety degrees across the cove now. Oh. And it's been like three hours. What say you fellows? I I can't carry this. Uh, okay, Ryan. No. It's fine. Yeah, just give him over here. We'll just keep keep going. Uh, I, I won't throw you back. I promise. You, uh, under under the weight of your entirely uh, filled to the brim pack of uh, all the dog food you could carry, and, uh, and my uh, barrel of oil. Well, let let me propose this to you. I can either carry Ryan. No problem. He's very small. Or I am not small. You're he's, you're he, he, no, he, you're right. You're, you're not and small. You're he, big he's, and hot. He's, big hold, and hot. he's holding on to Lee, and he like wakes up to say he's been sleeping this whole time. He's like, I am not small. I am, and he falls asleep again. I'm pretty sure his heart is also small. Or I can rest while we move and regain my power. It's like casting a spell while walking, but it's a short rest. Why didn't you do that before? Now now we're all tired. Well, I was going to, but just someone kept narrating. Um, I don't know how to There was a flow to it. I didn't want to interrupt. Um, okay, so I'll carry Ryan. I don't think you could do a short rest while marching ahead of goblins. What if that's it's the yeah, opposite? Well, I can that's, if that's... I go inside my ring and someone carries it. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's a whole reason I picked this character class. <laughs> um, oh. Also, if I'm narrating and you want to do something, jump no, in. no, it's it, it's fine. It just uh, it's how it played out. Okay. Um, it's more interesting this way. There's more sure. consequences. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I will carry Ryan. I will carry Ryan. Uh, Ryan. Cool. You know, when there were one foot set of footprints in the snow, that's when we abandoned you to the goblins. Just kidding. Ryan's dead asleep. Cute if we carry him for eight hours, I think it counts as a long rest. <laughs> uh, in his case, it's a short rest either way. Uh, oh, okay. But, um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's How much does Ryan weigh? Uh, like... <laughs> like how much is a gnome way? The, the weird little stats that come up. Ten pounds. That's my guess. 
Gnome weighs. Uh, regular gnome. Ten. Tell me, regular gnome. Or one stone. He weighs. Uh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> Tune in next week. Thirty-eight pounds. Oh, Ooh, the yeah, I was gold. totally under my carrying capacity. <laughs> Yeah, I'm nowhere near my current capacity. Mm-hmm. Um, cool. So you guys are proceeding? Yes. Yeah. Uh, cool. Uh, Ubad, make me a constitution roll. Ubad, Ubad. That's a 17. Okay, you guys can, uh, you guys can keep up the clip, uh, the entire t time to get, uh, for another few hours until you finally see the goblins uh you can see them in the distance but they like they're very far away it's just you can see them in the distance because you just have very good visibility here more than anything and they're turning back they're like dots they're like a mile away we've done it Okay, should we rest a little and then continue? Have some lunch? That sounds, that sounds like a marvelous idea. Hmm. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick perception check of 16. Good spot. Anything, anything around besides the little ants? Besides the little ants? Chasing you it. can see like some snow drifts and you can see some like fissures around. Mm -hmm. You're actually like on the on the horizon coming up, like not on the horizon, but like coming up you can see like a large fissure through the crater that reaches the top. Okay. Through the glacier, not the crater. Oh well, let's let's go over near there and rest while we think about how to get across it. You just spoil it, Hayden. Is there is there a crater in this campaign? Not yet. Uh, okay, I think this is a fine spot. Uh, so, so do you, you do, do you go to the fissure, or do you stay here? Let's go to the fissure. Yeah. Okay. Go towards the fissure. Yeah. Cool. You you get to the fissure. It's like thirty feet across. Niffles, do your thing. Oh, what what thing, sire? I, I, I don't know. I was just trying to fill the silence. That's all. Um, I can get myself across it tomorrow, but not today. <laughs> Maybe if we rest here for an hour. Yeah, like I said, there's no tomorrow. Oh yes, <laughs> that actually might day. do it. Mm -hmm. Let's take a rest. I always forget about arcane recovery. Mm -hmm. um, the other option is we do have a bird. Maybe the bird can take a rope across. Can it carry us? I don't know. I would, I would think so. <laughs> is this a Wiggles question or a Simon question? They're the same. <laughs> Oh, actually, there's no difference between me and this character. I guess I could do an unseen servant. That's probably stronger than a bird. Can an unseen servant fly? Uh, invisible, mindless, shapeless, medium force. They perform simple tasks. Can move up to sixty feet away. I, hey, I always, I always just kind of pictured unseen servant as like a little boy mad at a goo. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I was pictured like a ghost looking butler just like yeah, hello. It does so. say on the ground within range. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, but the range is 60 feet. So I could create the unseen servant on the other side and then try and get the bird to bring the rope across and then the unseen servant can secure it to the ground. How strong is he? Uh 
It says he can do things such as fetching, cleaning, mending, lighting fires, serving food, pouring wine. Strength of two. I don't think that's strong enough to hammer like a spike into the ice. What if there was a strength three familiar helping? Does that let's, do anything let's, for you? Let's let's give them a roll and see if they can do it together. I don't even know if the bird can fly across a rope. Thirty feet of rope is pretty heavy. I guess I the can bird... get. I can get across in the ring, but somebody would have to get the rope over. I guess we could. I guess that's the same as. Uh, well, I can. Doing. I can throw the rope. I guess I tie it to one of my hammers. Yes, I love when people throw hammers at me. Well, then you that was, came to the that right was sarcasm. place. Okay. Can your familiar fly over the rope and my familiar flies me over? This do I here's, okay? Here's a meta question: Has anybody? Does anybody familiar with your ability to go in your ring or anything like yeah, that? Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think we actually know what you're talking about. I think he's losing it. Yeah, I haven't mentioned it to them yet. Cool. I think I've, I just hinted at it now by talking about the rest. Um, yes, well, if I rest, I can also go across, but it will cost me my last spell slot of the second level. What is a spell slot? Well, you see, us wizards have developed what a, rogue a mathematical system for quantifying our magic. Oh, dead shit! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Got it. And he falls back asleep. Why so cute? Oh, look, his eyes are twitching. Right. I guess I'll try and have the bird fly across the rope first because there's no downside to trying. Cool. The bird does it. It worked. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, now we have a rope across, but the bird and the servant are not strong enough to attach it on the other side. I said I'd give you a roll. Oh, okay, let me see if they can do it. So this is probably like 20 minutes into the long rest by now, because I had a ritual cast and all kinds of stuff. Cool. Uh, I... uh, short rest. If I command you, if I cast command and I command you to succeed, is that... Oh, yeah, then you have to do it. I don't think so. Uh, what sort of roll would you like? Roll me. Just roll me a straight strength roll. Okay. You can use their combined five strength. Um, that would be a minus three? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I rolled a nine, so that's a six. Uh, also, they wait. This is there's several steps we skip. They don't ha how. I, I assume you they they like flew a spike and a hammer over. Yeah, that's that part seems easier. Yeah. Uh, no, they did not hammer the spike into. They kind of hold it in and like hit it, and it like goes and slides. Hmm. An unseen servant looks back at you and goes, "But I can't see it." But you can't see. And then, then he starts flossing. <laughs> Alright, well, I have to finish this rest before I can do anything else. Um, I... I have... a power I can use, but to do so, I would need your help. I would need a great treasure from each of you to be able to use it. Okay. I give you this is a deception thing. roll. You, you mean like friendship? Are we, are we talking about friendship? I give you a squeaky toy. There you go. Um, One of the nicer ones. Oh, that, that's plus seven now. So that is... That's a dirty 20. For deception? Yeah. I got Does a, anybody want to roll insight against it? I got a three. Eh. Okay, you guys are yes. This, this totally tell the truth. Here's a squeaky toy. But Sniffles, Sniffles is like eh. Sniffles. Uh, it, it's, it's like yes, this is a good plan. Sniffles. Ryan is asleep. Give him your last molted skin. Well, what, I'm setting Ryan down gently on the ground. What uh, he, curls, he curls up. 
what sort of treasure? I have uh, a book of lore. I have a lucky charm. I have a belaying pin. I really shouldn't have been carrying this belaying pin all over the place. That That is a waste pin. of two pounds. It's like a, a club that you get when you have the pirate background. Uh, I think you can use that for for rock climbing. If my three times I've been rock climbing and people yelling belay I don't know have if any correlation. Yeah, I don't know if it's that kind of belaying. But uh, maybe... Um, a lucky charm, perhaps. It is. It is a rope-related thing. Oh. Um, sure. Here, here's my lucky charm. Don't lose it. What is your lucky charm? Um. It is a. In, hmm? Oh, to be clear, you wouldn't be getting this back. Oh. Um, I'm not keeping it. It'll just be consumed in the magic. I see. Uh, how about I give you half my lucky charm? What about just the belay pin? What is your lucky charm? It's some hair. I don't have hair, you know. What is? Why is this charm lucky? You have to give me backstory it's, now. It's it's elvish hair from the from the elf that taught me blade singing. Okay, it's a little like lock of hair. Is it like braided in a cool circle? Exactly. How do you keep it? In a in a lock, a locket around my neck. Cool. I'll give you the belaying pin. What's the locket look like? Uh, it's a miniature turtle shell. Cool. On both sides. I guess that's like a skull locket for human. <laughs> okay, I'm removing the belaying pin from my inventory. It's like a spine. <laughs> this squeaky toy is made with actual lamb's bladder. And uh, look at the stitching. Here you go. Now, and is a, this is of value towards your people? Absolutely. Are you kidding? For the Puglandia. Uh, it's Pugmindy. Pugmindy. I think. Here's my follow-up question for Lee. Is the belaying pin, like, treasured towards you? Yes, it is a symbol of my possession, of my uh, profession. Okay. <laughs> they, they, next time I try and go on a turtle ship, they may not let me on without a belaying pin. I'll have to get a new one. Instead wow. Of the, instead of the hammer and sickle, your flag is a belaying pin and some hair. Exactly. Tight. Ryan. Ryan, I need... Mm, five minutes. I need, I need a treasure. A personal treasure. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, uh, takes, uh, uh, a thing out of his, uh, he, he, like, very sleepily goes into, like, one of his little pockets and pulls out a, a little stone in, a little, uh, wooden engraving of, uh, his mother. And it says, uh, this is the only image I have my mother. Please give it back. And falls back asleep. Didn't know he was part pug. Wow. I keep telling people you won't get it back. He um, was asleep for that part. <clears throat> he was also asleep for you saying that. I look through his pockets. Is there anything else? <laughs> Ryan <laughs> wakes up and slaps her hands away. Wow! I what? This is not the trip I signed up for. That cost Ryan, extra. Ryan, I need a treasure. I told you you wouldn't get it back. You said you had to have what? this one back. Um, That's how my magic works. Your magic sucks. Uh, right. Um. Ryan hand, hands you his look, like looks confused and hands you his sword. Is this is this treasure? I do not need it to fight. Look at me. And he, and he flexes and it's very unimpressive. <laughs> what is the treasure that you give someone that you never give back? Okay, I take his short sword. And it's a, um, it's a rapier. A rapier. 
Um, and Sniffles. Sniffles uh, pulls out his own tooth and hands it to you. It's funny, I thought it was going to be his skin. I was close, I guess. That was going to be his virginity. And he, and he, and he, as you wish. Wow, that's dedication. And um, <laughs> all of you, but most importantly, Lee and Wiggles. This is it's very the ring. poisonous. <laughs> yeah, yes, I, I'm going to grab it with like a piece of cloth and not actually touch it. Um, this is the um, the ring of my family. I I'm the last member of my family. My power comes from this ring. And I may trust the two of you with it from time to time. It is the the ultimate symbol of my trust. Uh, my power comes from it, and occasionally, in times of need, I go to it. And as you will see, and I will uh, summon Pompadour in front of them. I think we kind of described he's he's gonna he's kind of just an ice imp. We'll say he's an mm-hmm. ice imp. And, okay. Um, this is my familiar, Pompadour. And well, very nice to meet you, Pompadour. And go back Ryan, to sleep, Ryan. Ryan holds out his hand to shake his hand. I think Pompadour will just respectfully nod, and um, I give Pompadour the ring, and I vanish into the ring. <laughs> Brian Spring, a gog. And, and so while I'm in the ring, dog. I very quickly set up a glass of dwarven spirits, um, a few peanuts, and some rations. And I put it aside a belay pin, a, um, a liver chew toy, and a, uh, a rapier. And I say... And a tooth. Oh, and, and a tooth, excuse me. Yes, the tooth and wrapped in cloth. And I say, Shaza the Fortunate. It is your follower, uh, Ubad, son of Rabab. Mm. Do I smell sentiment? Yes, I bring you uh, the treasures of my companions um, in hope they have we have been betrayed by our leader and she has some control over them through magic something called the seal of obedience mm, what a pickle you have gotten yourselves into I see that you have avoided such a fate quite the faith I have put in you is continually uh, shown to be good. I can't think of the right word. You've taught me well, Shaza. That I have. Tell me, uh, what do you, uh, what do you wish uh, for me to do in this position? Why have you seek- summoned me? For my for safety of our mission and for my own safety, I, I seek some way of nullifying this power that holds over my compatriots. Uh, Sh- Shaza is he's picking up the treasures one by one and eating them and chewing them, and he eats the to- he eats the uh, careful with the tooth. He eats Sniffles' tooth, and he's like, "Hmm, that one's zesty." Uh, and he says. But you, so, uh, so these these companions, these these pawns that you are traveling with, are affected by a spell, and you are not. Well, then I do not see a problem here. Maybe this could work to your advantage. May perhaps you could figure out how to gain control of the spell. That is one solution, yes. Mm-hmm. I... 
I have heard of such a, a place, a facility, if you would, that where um, there's there seems to be a dwarf that is studying uh, deep magics. P perhaps he'll have a way for you to uh, take the rain, so to speak. Up here in the north. Up here, it's yes, rather close by. I I can't with my power. I can only get a general thing, but it's really it shouldn't be more than a few days' journey from your location now. Very interesting. Yes. Now, where would that be? Hmm. I, as I said, unfortunately, I cannot provide any specific details as I am not privy to the exact location. But if you keep uh, continuing the direction you are traveling, I'm, sh I'm sure you will uh, either find it or find uh, some locals who might be able to point you in the right direction. Um, this... Pelia, who betrayed us. Mm. She was part of the Order of Silence. What a twist. Seem to be quite a, a pesky organization. Yes, I have heard of them. Quite, quite a thorn in my side, to be honest. Those of us who have a taste for the more powerful magics of this world uh, always such a shame for them to to hide hide them to destroy them such a shame really did you have well, a question thank you, Shaza. you have you have answered my questions mm. well then i must be going I have, I have other business to attend to, and he he uh, picks his teeth with uh, uh, the sword. Uh, says, uh, "Shaza away!" and like turns into a spiral and goes into the air. Okay, so I, I imagine it's been long past the time. Um, I'm going to grab a, a few items that I've stored in here, and, um... Long past what time? Like, well, so that it's taken to, for, uh, Pompadour to fly me over to the other side of the crevice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy, that took, um, like, 20 seconds. Sure, it takes yeah. him a long time to come out. Yeah. And, um, I will emerge out of the ring. And I will set that, uh, the, take the, the python and the hammer from the, uh, mm -hmm. the unseen servant. I mean, you know, I can't see the servant, but I can probably can see the hammer. Mm -hmm. And um, it's like a, that. And the bird is like helping too. Yes. And it, the, the bird like kind of tries to hold onto it, but you snatch it away. Actually, no, I don't get to say that. What does the bird do? Um, I think, oh, go, go ahead. ahead. It's your bird. It's your bird. Yeah, I think uh, it's just squawks. And, uh, oh. He's holding the rope. <laughs> okay, so we have a tight rope. Mm -hmm. We secured it on both ends. Mm hmm. You sure did. Uh, Ryan, you want you want to go first since you're the lightest. I will go forth into the unknown. And he Ryan throw you no. does like attempts to do like a cool tightrope maneuver. It's not gonna be good. And he makes it halfway across and slips. Oh God. Ryan. Uh, and falls. <laughs> All right, I cast. What's it called? Oh, uh, was that part uh, of it, Feather Ryan? Fall. 
Is that is that a trick? <laughs> how how far down? Looking down is the is the bottom. Are you looking rope. down? Because none of you looked down before. Yeah, I looked down. Uh, it's dog. about fifty feet, and you can see several goblins down there. Okay, as he's drifting slowly down, I'll I'll lower down another rope. <laughs> Guess we should have done that. Before. Do a stealth check. Stealth check. Okay. That's an eight. Uh, uh, you do it noisily. Uh, you, 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 you're lowering, you're lowering down the rope, and um, the rope is one of one of them uh, Norwegian loud ropes. Norwegian, Norwegia, a very mythical, uh, uh, magical empire in this D and D world, uh, and it it rattles a little, uh, and the goblin uh, guards. At the at the Fisher's entrance, uh, look up. And sorry, well, just grab him with the grab him with the snake rope. I mean, this has already happened. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. yeah. Ryan, Ryan grabs the rope. Okay, I'll start pulling him up while he climbs up it. You're up. The goblins are riled, though. How many goblins? There's only there's only two right here. And, and you see, like one of them is like, ah, and they're both like, and then uh, uh, one of them starts uh, shouting down the fissure hole, and runs and starts running down the fissure. Uba, do you want you want to get that one? Yeah, uh, fifty feet down. Fifty. Fifty. So I'll... yeah, I'm gonna try and eldritch blast that one I'll, and I'll try and create a bonfire on the closer one that's not moving because I only that have... is um, a 19 to hit you hit him oh no hex um, so that is 9 9 force 2 cold uh, it's sweet so the force damage hits he's staggered and then the cold starts taking him and it seems like the cold does half damage but it just is barely enough to kill him he seems to die just barely okay and can I get a deck save from the other one as I create a bonfire right where he's standing it's an 8 probably doesn't save uh, that's 4 fire damage uh, he, uh, screech, screeches and panics around and runs around on fire. It's pretty cute when he does that. That's cute. Hmm. Well, you let him know. Hmm. Let him know. He stops, drops, and rolls. Is he just hanging out down there? He he's like panicking and like trying to get it ca uncatch on fire. Um, let's see if little Eldritch Blast will put that out. That's uh, twenty one to hit. Bad for it. That is uh, eight force too cold. He, <laughs> what's it, he's dead as hell. What does it look like? Yeah, I mean, the cold definitely puts the fire out, right? Yeah, the cold just, like, puts out the fire. And I, I think the cold hits him for first. Like, the the force mm. just has, like, a layer of cold around it. So he, he puts just, out the fire. Uh, he just looks relieved. And, he, uh, and then just, he's flattened. Yeah. Okay, next time, let's look down first. You see, Ryan? This is what you do when you show off. Look, you got two innocent goblins killed. And, mm -hmm. I, mean, and I do will, it again. Ubot will tie the snake rope around himself and have the um, have it reach out to uh, to the party. Like just straight out. Well, yeah, for them to like grab it. I don't like a snake can't do that. <laughs> oh, I thought it was like a fancy rope of climbing. It's uh, it, it it moves as a snake would. Okay, so it'll just move along the rope cool. that, that we've laid out. Just like just like sniffles. Mm-hmm. 
Ryan, do you do you want my parrot to grab you a sword from those dead goblins? Yes. Okay, he'll grab a, grab a sword. Or do they just have daggers? I don't know what they have. He has like a he has like a shiv made of driftwood. This is this is very driftwood nice. Driftwood shiv. It does more one d two damage. <laughs> Coin flip damage. <laughs> mm hmm. Okay, Ryan, you want to try that one more time? I will. <laughs> Ryan makes it across this time. Even more impressive the second time. Okay, can I use athletics to shimmy across? Yeah, sure. That's a dirty 20. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, I'm good. I'll stay here. Oh, jeez. Ten. Uh, you, you, what are you doing? Uh, I'm trying to walk across on all fours, hearkening so, back to my canine. You know, so you're doing like an acrobatics? Uh, athletics. Okay. Uh, give me, oh. roll a deck save. Oh, I don't like this. Oh, uh, dexterity save is 15. Uh, you catch on the rope and you're kind of like dangling off. <laughs> Just like. Yep. Uh, are there any goblins down there? I can't look down. I'm a dog. I don't think dogs can look up or down. But I think you always land on your feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's good to know. Uh, I'm going to. You have your days. Monkey bar it. Monkey bar? Doggy bar? Uh, I'm just going to try to get across night. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, if I'm doing athletics, 21. To do what again? Uh, I'm trying to get across alive. You're I, you're you're dangling. I do a pull up. Okay, you could do a, you could okay 21. You could you could do a pull up and get across. Sure, why not? Uh, okay, I'm across now. Yes. Fantastic. All right. Uh, and sniffle. It's fine. Good job, buddy. Sniffle does does a snaky thing around the rope. You know, you hardly notice the tooth. In fact, it makes you look tougher. You're missing tooth, and that's what you need to do to be a knight. That's the first thing. Look tough. Go, sir. <laughs> All right, let's retrieve the rope. Keep going. How are you retrieving the rope? I mean, we got flying things and rings. It seems like we could do it. Uh, and pull very hard on it. It's like ham. It's like hammered in. Okay, Ubad, can you fly over, unhammer it, fly back, or is that gonna take more magical items or whatever? Let's let's just say this is boring. Let's say you did it. <laughs> I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm, that time I can only, like a half I'm hour done with that for the day. Hmm. Um. Well, we got a couple of birds. I appreciate I, I appreciate everything that, that you've given me, and I, I though I cannot give it back, I have a few things that I that I can give you. I have um, I give uh, and Lee for a keen mind like yourself. I've played very many good uses for this, and I give you a flask of alchemist fire. Mm, thank you. Uh, should I drink it now or? No, no, no. Um, and for such a good boy, so wiggles. And I give you a greenie. Oh, oh wow! My teeth feel so clean. And uh, sniffles. Um, I don't have a tooth for you, but I have just a little bit of tusk gel. <laughs> Thank you. To make what teeth you do I, have shine. I will cherish it. Looks shiny. And, um... Does Ryan have any other weapons, like, obviously on him? Uh, yeah, he has a driftwood shiv. Okay, I give Ryan my dagger. 
Hmm. Quite the treasure. I shall kill many with it. Yes, a good backup to Driftwood Shiv. Um, there, in my meditation, I, I learned somewhere near here, there, there is a dwarven artificer of sorts who may be able to help us with these um, seals of obedience. How do you know this? Magic. Oh, okay. All right. I'll it's yeah, I'm, true. I'm fine with it. Okay. Do, do you think he might be over with that smoke? Should we go there first? That's it. You know, we can't rule it out. So let's go rule it out. Great. Uh, Lee, don't drink that all at once. You might become an alcoholist. I have seen this happen to many tortles. Mm. Sad. Cool. Uh, so you guys proceed? Yep. Yep. Uh, okay, you proceed. And as the sun gets low in the sky and dips towards the horizon, uh, it, you come around uh, all the way around and you come upon uh, the smoke and you can see it coming uh, over just, there's like you come to the edge of a ridge and you can see the smoke coming up over the ridge so you are very you're close to the smoke but you have an opportunity to approach it however you like okay let me let did we get a short rest uh, sure. Okay. Uh, let me quickly pause and cast comprehend languages in case we do not speak their language, like their goblins or whatever. You just, just, you know, talk, talk among yourself for ten minutes. Was was that a pun? You said pause. Yes. Are you being funny? Because it was funny. Pug nose. Because I'm a dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, cast comprehend languages And then I'm ready to go Yeah, so Pugmendi Interesting place Pug Pugmendi Pugmendi Pugmandy. Pugmandia? Pugmandy Patankin, okay yes. Would you like to know more? I tell you anyways Um should we scout it out? Does one person want to go? What should we do? And you should visit our water slide. Amazing. How how big is it? Uh, it's, it's a waterfall, but you know we call it a water slide. It hurts a lot, but it's it's quite fun, you know. Yes, the the trick is to pull your head inside your shell before you go down it. I'm more of a lazy river man. Uh, I I. Mm. He sniffles. What's your? You seem pretty stealthy, with all that sneaking around you do and creepy. I am surprisingly uh, spotable. <laughs> um, I'll scout around with Pompadour, invisible. Cool. You go. Uh, Pompadour goes over the ridge and he sees a small little village, uh, where. Uh, there's a lot of little huts made from uh, the bones of some very large animal with skin stretched between them. Uh, and there seem, uh, there's like a fire in the middle where little villagers are gathered around and you can see the villagers are uh, goblins. Uh, and uh, there seems to be uh, an old goblin uh, sitting near the fire uh, rocking in what looks like a rocking chair made out of bones. Uh, like if it, like very large, like mar uh, marine animal style bones. And he's like smoking a pipe. Are these ice goblins? Or they? you said they had fire. So they not... look similar. They, the ice goblins aren't made of ice. Yeah, yeah. 
they 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 seem to be they look the same. Uh, yeah. All goblins There's, look the same. To they look Whoa. similar to the other items. To to three people who have seen ice goblins for the first time two days ago, they seem to be more ice goblins. Did we go kill snow rabbits, level up, and then and come back and kill them all? I don't know. This movie is a lot like Boss Baby. Um, mm. Yes, see, it's more ice goblins. Well, you see, you see, you see them doing like little tasks. Some of them are like sewing, like doing loom stuff. They seem to be they they seem to be fairly calm. They these seem like more civilized ice goblins. Should we? try to trade with them or ask for directions. <clears throat> it's worth a shot. I there seems not. to be about 20 goblins in this village. It is high risk, high reward. I'll try not to bark at them. It's going to be tough. I'm going to pull out a cracker out of the bag. Ooh. Okay. What's your roll? Is it a goblin? <laughs> um, I got a ten. The whale. Oh, good. Um, oh, that's a good one. Shall I eat it? Give it to Ryan. You want to eat it? So you want to scare them? So that Sir Wiggles can ride me. Oh, I keep thinking it's an actual whale. It's a cracker in the shape of a whale. Well, yeah, yeah uh, we like... have about 10 seconds to eat it or it turns into an actual whale. Okay. Um, Go for it, Lee. I eat it. I mount you. Uh, you, uh, you grow. You double in size. You're a very large turtle. I hop on the shell and keep my sword sheathed okay we go around the corner and we try to look friendly wait are we being, uh, are we being friendly or are we trying to scare them yes we're being friendly um one of one of the uh goblins uh, is like you see this goblin uh, seems to be working on a piece of leather like tanning it and then looks up and says come on and runs. And I understand. You still have comprehension. I understand Goblin for the next hour. Uh, you understand that Gamera is a kaiju that was a turtle in the Godzilla <laughs> movies. Nice. Is that the right one? Am I waving right? Is this how you do it? Or like this? Yeah, Gamera's right. I got it right in one. Uh, and the, the. I don't think he's actually in the Godzilla movies. I think he's his own kaiju. I think I'm waving. He fought Godzilla. Okay, I'm wrong then. Uh, and the, the, God, the goblin runs past uh, all of the uh, uh, back into town, and uh, you see the old goblin look up and say, "Oh, visitors!" In common or in goblin? In common. Oh, great! Uh, yes, hello. Yes, are you friendly? Are you coming here to fight us? Well, I would hope not. Uh, we come in uh, peace. We hope as well. You understand, name... we don't see a giant turtle too often. Or an elephant. I'm... Uh, Loxodon. They see I'm... plenty of pugs. Oh, Loxodon, my mistake. You don't... You, don't... you see, I don't... Encounter many oh. of you folks. Think I'm, I'm in, in, enchanted to learn more about you and your people. Uh, I am Old Father Frosty. Nice to meet your, your acquaintance. Well, the pleasure is all mine, Old Father Frosty. Um, I hope you didn't have trouble with the uh, less civilized of our of my brethren. Don't tell him. Don't tell him. They could oh, be quite. Um, it could be quite the pest for us as well. Luckily, we've kept one step ahead of them. Mm. Um, How nice! 
Is this what, is this your village, you? old, old Father Frosty? Uh, yes, it is our village. We, we, we try to make a living off the sea here. We been, we do all right for ourselves. We, 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 we broke off from uh, the rest of the goblins some time ago. We didn't see. Uh, we saw no value in raiding the any any coastal people that would land ashore. We'd much much rather be friendly and trade. We see mutual benefits. You see. This is how you we were sent language. here. Sorry. Oh no, no worries. We were sent here by Baroness Ophelia Asteria. We mm, are what a name in, in search of her son Varian, who went. Who uh, is on an expedition somewhere nearby with Lawrence Edmund Atkins? Does any of this uh, ring a bell, as they say? You see, a couple a couple of parties have come through here. Tell me how, when 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 do you think where they would have come through in the past week or so? Ubad, you seem to be moving your uh, lips, but I cannot hear one, what you're saying. One year ago. Oh, sorry, I'm, I'm giant, so it probably sounds... One year ago. Hmm. Yeah. D -d -d can you tell me anything about the party? Yes, uh, there were a number... There was a gnome, there was a kenku, a number of dwarves. Is that... An elf, a human. Ring any oh. bells? Yeah, it was quite the bunch, wasn't it? I, I do remember in my younger days uh, seeing such a party about a year ago, you said. Such a long time in goblin years. Uh, yes, 365 of your younger days ago. Yes, I do believe they were, they were headed further inland. They didn't stop to speak or anything. They seemed rather hostile we didn't really we gave them a wide berth you see didn't stop to speak hmm. do you know which direction or do you recall uh, it was such a long time ago but i re i seem to recall they had it inland and points uh inland away from the bay ask him if he knows pololia who is a Pololia? That's Pololia. Now, yeah. who was who this party you met a, a, about a week ago? I, I, there was no party. I just was asking how long ago it was. Oh, okay. I mean, it sounds like somebody was through a week ago. Do you? Now, of like... course, we, we don't have much, but we, we are, you know, have a few things we could trade, perhaps for, if you have any maps. Yeah. Of the area? Oh, the only map we need is right here, but we have plenty of bones. Would you like bones? Okay, bones and skins oh, is our trade. He's a map in his skull. Um, I, I have ink and parchment. Could you draw us a map? Uh, On a bone or a skin, perhaps? Or yes. the parchment. He said boner. I could draw you what you want a map of. The whole area around here, as far as you know. Okay, I could get, I could certainly work on that. Tell me, do you have, uh, in exchange, do you have any anything uh, tasty? You see, all I've eaten for so long is is fish, and and, and sea dragons. It's not, not a lot to eat here. You see. I pull dried dog food out of my pouch and I throw it at his feet. Feast, feast, oh wise one! He he he. It is the food of gets my people. Up, like he's like, he gets up with a lot of effort oh, out of his chair. I would have thrown it closer, but and know. he seems very very decrepit, and he very carefully gets out, bends down, picks one up, and examines it. And eats it. He says, "Please don't be poisonous." That's the best thing I have ever tasted. This will be, 
This Thank will you. be. This will do quite nicely. Thank you. What if I told you? There's a lot more where that came from. I would be very excited. But we could use some help. Maybe we can come to an agreement, an arrangement. What sort of help are you looking for? I didn't really think this. Scratch him on his rear. What should we ask for? Maybe we should ask him to kill Pololia. Perota. Well, you see, our killing days are way over unless you, unless you're talking about an Arctic manatee. I love killing those. Tell you what, take yes, the food I think, now. Yeah. I think Pelia is a bit above their pay grade. Okay. Don't tell them that. What is pay? We are communists up here. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what they have that we might want. Um, everyone has jackets and furs. Uh, I mean, we could trade for some fresh food. Uh, we'd like to stay the night, I think. Is it night? Uh, it, this is not going to be night for another three months. Yes, but you you know what I mean. We sleep whenever. We sleep when we're tired. But yes, you can you can you can rest here a while if that's what you're asking. It would be much appreciated. Of course, you're our guests. Um, tell me, Frosty. McFrosterson, um, are you the the sort of the most learned goblin in town? I I it, it makes me not it doesn't sound very humble of me to say so, but uh, I would have to say yes, I am. I have some some tutor books. Would you like some books, you know, to teach the children? Ah, oh, what uh, what? Uh, of course. I give him the tutor books that we stole from uh, uh, Sheplin. No, oh, Ephraim Gyrus's quarters. Okay. Oh, this will do quite nicely. My, I think the kids are about ready to learn about tech war. <laughs> William Shatner's is having a little mini stroke somewhere right now, not knowing why. <laughs> well, thank somebody book on Priceline. Thank you for the map. Uh, of course, I will have to work on it while you are sleeping. Great. Um, Uba, did you want to ask about the dwarf? situation oh yes are you are you also familiar with any any dwarven settlements or a dwarven smith nearby a smith i don't know oh, that, that name a dwarf i did hear there was a rather odd dwarf years ago before my time settled you know not not far away from here you know, maybe that's where the, your party was going all that all that year ago. They went the same direction, now that I recall. They... There was... He had some sort of... Underground... Cave? Like a really... And it was just the one dwarf. magic -y cave. It was... It was one dwarf. He had all sorts of... Experiments, and there was... He had helpers. They weren't dwarves, though. Go goblins. What was his name? I don't know. This was I. I should say this was long before my a long before I was born, uh, but five years ago. I, yes, it is. You were born five years ago. Yes. You look really good for five. Thank you. Can I ask you those other uh, goblins? I'll p wait real quick. I'll p I'll I'll, I'll m I do know where the uh where this weird magic cave was. I'll I'll have to mark it on the map for you. Thank you. Thank you. What were you saying, uh, Sir Sir Dog? How, what how was you, your name? The, uh, Sir Wiggles. Uh, I am Sir Sir Wiggles, uh, Knight of the Queen's Dawn. 
Oh, uh, what an honor. Yeah, I'm not done yet. Queen Mrs. Poochie Face uh, of Pugmanik. Thank you. Okay, now. Wow. Now. Yeah. Uh, and I uh, praise the uh, great old wolf. So if you're looking for a god, that's a pretty good one. I mean, that's where I'll come from. Anyways, I was just wondering, uh, how do you keep the other goblins away from you? You have some sort of uh, army or you have oh, the, fire. Oh, Can you light people on fire? Oh, they don't bother us. Mm, racist, I see. Okay. Uh, why? You know, I could. Why? Why don't? Why doesn't your Loxodon friend bother you? Right. Because uh, we're we friends. I gave him a squeaky toy. Did you give them a squeaky toy to leave they, you alone? That's what I did. You, you know, the the other folks, the other goblins, they're not they're not as bad as they might seem. They just they just try to murder and rob any any travelers that come through. That's how they. So they survive there. That's what I thought. Oh, they're I townies. Know. Yeah. See, they're not that bad. Sure. They're just like you and me. Well, Father Frosty, uh, thank you for your hospitality. Do, do of you think, course. Are there any young goblins who would be interested in coming on an adventure with us? Mm. Trying to get married, Lee? Uh, we could ask around. You could introduce, you could, you could make a, a case for yourself tonight. Uh, we will we'll have to have a whole group dinner, and you'll you could you could make your case. I I'll bring the dog food. Oh, please you know. do. Good stuff. Great. Uh, well, that sounds good. Shall we? Do you have a place we can stay, or shall we set up our tents? Uh, you well, we we only have enough. Uh, huts for the people living here. If you if you don't mind bunking with someone, we'd be happy to have you. But if you'd like your own space, you can set up your tents. That's fine as well. I have my own tent. Uh, thank you. Oh, look at Pelia over here. Wants their own tent. Um, yeah, they smell different. Yeah. Yes, I think we'll. We want to give you your space and your privacy as well. Um, so we will set uh, set up our tents for the night, the the day. Mm -hmm. Are there the any beautiful goblins? Are any beautiful goblins? I forgot. I'm not playing a bard. Never any pug-faced goblins? Forget it. There is one. You you look oh, around the goblin uh, thing, and there's like a, 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 several of the goblins are like watching you. Like they they seem like. They're like nervous. They don't see like your party is like v a very unique uh, occurrence here. A giant turtle and a loxodon. Like some of them are like hiding behind tents, kind of like peeking out, curious what's going on. Uh, and out of the corner eye, you see one poke out from a tent who does seem rather puggish. Whoa, dream weaver! Uh, I, I I wave. Wait, it's waving. Am I doing it right? Is that, is that how your queen waves? Uh, who, who is she? Your queen? I, I think she's the leader of your kingdom. Is that my queen in the tent? No, my queen wouldn't be here. That'd be weird. Uh, P the pug faced goblin ducks out of you again, at when they when the the goblin sees that you were looking at them. Oh. Who is that? That was Venice. Good enough for me. Whoa! <laughs> Very well. We will meet you in the town square at dinner time. We are in the town square. Is it dinner time? <laughs> uh, it can be. <laughs> What's I, I, I could eat. Uh, hey, 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 Grovel. What what what's for dinner? And you see, uh, there's a, a goblin uh, at a at a table chopping up something. Uh, sea panda, sir. We got sea panda tonight. Is that sea panda? The the flesh tastes good because it only eats sea bamboo. It tastes bad. 
but it's it's nourishing and filling. And with some of that dog food, we might be able to make a good a good stew from it. I'm going to donate one pound of dried dog food. Cool. Uh, Simon, one pound. You only have 299 pounds left. I know. I'm trying to... Uh, well, they've been very nice to us. And they just just to I mean, us. think about that. Be okay. rational. Okay. What is the price of friendship? What what is the name I just said with that goblin? Fennis. The other one. Grovel. Grovel. Like Grovel, but pronounced weird. I can mm-hmm. command Grovel. Like Grovel team. You t- Grovel uh, 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 picks up the dog food and eats it. And he's like, ah, that's good stuff. I know. Have we eaten uh, any of our rations that we got from Pelia? Uh, last night. Theoretically, you ate some yesterday. Okay. Right. And we seem okay so far. Good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, mark off one day of rations. Uh, How many days of rations did she give us? 30. 10. Oh, 30? Uh, I have another 30 in my explorer's pack. Cool. And you grovel. Uh, melt some water and, and boil some water over a big cauldron and uh, dumps in all the dog food and it turns into like mush and then cu- uh, cuts up the sea panda and uh, throws it in and uh, makes sea panda stew and then everybody uh, all of the goblin uh, they ring a bell that is made out of a, a, a bone from a bell whale uh and all the goblins uh, rush out of their little huts and uh, pick up uh, little uh, little bowls that are made out of half a skull each and uh, line up and uh, start eating their stew. And they're like, and they all seem, they're all loving it. They're all eating it. And they're all, uh, they're all like kind of eyeing you guys too. Uh, Sir Wiggles, do you I, see anyone squire worthy? Uh, no, I think I'm uh, full on my squire quota. Uh, the deal I have arranged with the universe is I get three. Well, you should but, uh, you should try to get one because then if you can get it, we'll know that Bort has died. I see what you're saying. <laughs> very wise. That's how it I works, right? That, but I see a very beautiful goblin. Uh, I must go talk see, to. Oh, I you hope see it's her. You see Fennis, uh kind of like sheepishly looking in line and waiting for waiting for a sea panda stew. I wave. Dude. Uh, Fennis ducks behind a, a lo- slightly larger goblin and in, in front of them and the larger goblin looks at you and goes What what does it mean when they shake their head like that? Is that is he giving me his daughter? Uh my my comprehend language ran out. <laughs> I see. Okay. We'll figure that one out. Yes, you'll have to ask Old Father Frosty. Cool. Do you do you guys do anything else but tour before partaking of a long rest tonight? I ask uh, Father Frosty if there's anyone in the village who is sick or ill or requires any kind of aid. We're all we're all very sick in the in the nineties parlance, but not in the current parlance. No, I don't know what a parlance is, but uh, is that where you is that where uh, your government assembles to vote on things? No, it's where it's it's after like everybody here. We used to use these birds to spread our thoughts to everybody. It was called twitting, and then they all went to parlance after that because they they, (laughs) because they believe in free speech apparently (laughs) i see very good it's very important now old father frosty if i if i plead my case in common will many of the goblins understand us um yes most of us here understand common we do uh we do interact with the occasional trader that makes their way into the bay you see and, um, you know, he clears his throat and he stands up and he projects and speaks loudly and he says, um, Gracious goblins, thank you for having us in your village. We are... Uh, 
Anytime. Yes. Thank you. Um, we are headed in an expedition inland. Um, and if anyone wishes to join us, please speak to us after we've done resting. Um, you have a beautiful village and we are very honored to have been your guest. Uh, thank you. And pl- uh, plenty of dog food. Yes. Is, is there One's a, raising their hand. Is there a question in the front row, Ubad? Yes, you. Uh, how are we supposed to catch sea pandas inland? There's no sea pandas there. Well, are there inland pandas? Yeah, they, we would be looking for elusive inland pandas. Mm-hmm. They're rare because they won't mate. There's no such thing. Uh, well, we we will be carrying dog food, uh, so we will eat that instead of the sea pandas. Pretty good. I don't understand. Uh, you, young young men, how would you like to be my squire? You see, you can become a knight of the Queen's Dawn of Pugmandy if you are a squire. Would you like to? Are you talking the same one? Yeah. Who? The, the Queen... Mrs. Poochie Face. She's the queen. Who is who is Mrs. Do I know Mrs. Poochie Face? I will teach you how to be a knight, is, and you carry a sword. Is Mrs. Poochie Face the um the big sea panda that we ate last week? She had a weird face. What's that? I need a minute. I don't think you know Mrs. Poochie Face. Yeah, I don't know Mr. Poochie well, Face. What's Unless there were there were any other questions, specifically non sea panda questions, um, all, all their hands are down. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody want to be a squire? I will teach you how to wield a sword. And you see, you see, Fennis look down, and kind of raise raise their hand. Oh shit! Bork's dead. Oh, uh, okay, well, h- 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 hello, my, my name is Sir Wiggles. Please step forward. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, hey. hey, hey, what, what's, what's a, what's a squire? Squire is, a, I train you how to be a, a knight. Um, you just hold my stuff and don't but fight it's, anything. It's, it's not going to be knight for three months. Uh, how did you, yeah. you train me to be knight? Knight with a K, a uh, little different, but I teach you how to fight. And what's, uh, what's a K? I can't spell. You don't want to. I mean, this is uh, no offense, but I'm not sure you have what it takes because oh. I don't. Fennis goes and sits down and looks sad. But we can find something else for you to do. Oh. Uh, well, let's talk about this some more over kibbles. Would you like some here? Fennis walks over and eats the kibbles out of your hand. Oh, wow. That's We're moving kind of fast here. Fen- uh, Fennis's mouth is very cold. Maybe. Yeah, that's wow. That's really <laughs> cold. Uh, do, who are your parents? I don't know. They, I don't know. They found me. Does she look like a goblin, half goblin, half pug? Or does she look like a pug? It's plausible. Oh, my God. Uh... Very nice to meet you. Uh, wow. Um, here, let's use a plate first, because uh, I don't know you that well. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I, I, I don't understand the ways of the Southerners. I'm sorry. I'm going to have dinner with uh, Fennis, and uh, you guys can F off. See, this is touching music. Who are you touching? Uh, she's eating out of my hand, so... All right, let's let's go to sleep. Cool. You're Ryan, your first watch. Uh, Fennis, listen, something happened. Uh, we had a battle, and uh, my tent ripped. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't have a place to stay. Okay. Am I about to? Am I gonna break my oath? Is it... Okay. Do you, you want to you want to stay in, in the the tent with me, me and me, me and my family? Uh oh, you know what? Look, I have another. T- I have five other tents. Uh, oh. 
Would you like to stay in, in this one? Yeah. Oh. How old are you? I'm two. I'm three. <laughs> Is Wiggles actually three? <laughs> He's 21, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait. Makes it 14. I don't know if that's... Wait. Ugh. Well, I think we just established that the old guy is five, right? That's a good point. Mm -hmm. So three. So she's probably like 30. Yeah, she's 30. 40. Nice. Older chicks, yeah. <laughs> she's going to be very mad at this. Okay. Okay, well, you can. Here, here, uh, uh, oh, this is my tent. This is where I. They're not my actual family as established, but like, I think of them as my family. There's ten of them in here. <laughs> wow, ten of you in this. Say tent. hello. Hi. How are you doing? Hello. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. So, anybody want to be my squire? Kind of like a, you know, like a slave, but I teach you how to fight. And good night. Fade to black. <laughs> uh, that's it for today. Not where we were expecting it to end. We're a little over time. Uh, any raid requests? By Thank now. you all. Thank you everybody for watching. Uh, thank you to Sirenscape. Thank you for to Gamescape. Thank you to Skillshare. Skillscape. Skillscape. Uh, Rodney Berry. Let's write him. Thank you. Please uh, don't forget to like and yeah, you like. Subscribe. subscribe. Wait, can you yeah, like on Twitch? On things? Oh, uh, you follow us or? Oh, yeah. And all those fun. Uh, we're on. We are on. Uh, we're on everything. Twitter and Instagram. And. It's all there. And come back uh, next Thursday to see. Uh, See what happens after we fade back from black in the morning yeah. with Sir Wiggles. Yay. <laughs> Nothing. I just put a link to our Discord if you want to jump in and hang out with us. Um, and check out our OnlyFans it. before it's uh, illegal. Yeah, you only got a few weeks left of that. So you can see Sir Wiggles, you know, after dark. You All can that see pug porn. You can see how he got that name. <laughs> Thank you, Hayden. All right. Good night, everyone. Thanks. Bye.